All right, guys, listening to episode 345 here at Gamertag Radio, and uh, we're still here in LA, E3, LAX. last day, and we're done. What are Until next year. Bye. Later. Later. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the end of the done. show. <laughs> Have a nice day. Th- thanks for listening. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of sad. I'm leaving, and everybody's going to split up. Everybody's going to go back home. That's the sucky part about this. Yeah, Back to like, the real world. It's like the end of the yeah. season. <laughs> it's like the end of like the, I think the podcasting season. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, I admit that it's been a, a very interesting experience to have all four of the co-hosts here plus, together. Plus Butter. Well, plus, but I mean, like the, the in terms of the podcast, but like in Butter we talk two every here, week, but being now we're able like to see each, each other, each other. Yeah. yeah, to smack each other when we piss each other off, sort of thing. Yeah, like it's that. not even a smack each other. It's just for Mandy to smack, like. Like to, for her to smack or me natural or her to smack violence Patrick. Just comes or, well, usually I'm attacking Pete, but that's true. with good reason. Yeah, because so. yeah, we're buds. Awesome, man. But um, now today has been a crazy day. I think you guys got to see way more games. I than had me. way more important appointments today than like the last. Yeah, two well, days Thursdays combined. usually is like that. Like the last day is like the last day is always like that. Like a lot of people leave. Tuesday is like the craziest just because it's the first day. But mm-hmm. um, I know you guys got to see. I think all three of my of days games. have been, all three of my days have been busy. I I purposely scheduled my week for this day to be light so that I could go and see the things that were scheduled, and then be able to run around and well, to be able to roll around and see the things. Triple. Yeah, see the things that I didn't have a chance to. Like I really wanted to go back and follow up with um, Activision and check out Spider Man, which I didn't get a chance. You know to. what? That was a it looked. Decent. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. Like I saw. I just it. wanted to play more. I but saw I it at the Microsoft booth, like passing by, because I didn't get a chance to actually play it, because I was running back and forth uh, for other things. But man, I think I did more. I think I did more today than I did yesterday. You know, and, it and was, Tuesday, and well, and Monday. Well, I I don't know. Today was just. It felt. It was easier to deal with. You know, and you know, shout out to Paul again once again, Paul Date at pauldate.com. Yeah, shout out to Date him. H. Shout out to Maria. La, La Chica, Chica Gamer. Gamer. Yo. Hello. Boom Chica Her wow. Twitter account is back. Morris. Oh, she's she's, ba- she's back. Welcome back. back Twitter, on right? Twitter. Yeah, Twitter's back. Yeah, yeah. she got yeah. she got social life reacquired. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Plus one. <laughs> they were just waiting just, they were just waiting for E three to finish. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Making it as difficult as possible. How, how was your how was your day, Mandy? Compared to the past two E3s. Well, th- the past few E3s, I feel like they're all always busy. The only difference was normally I do like Pete and I don't schedule Thursday to be a heavy day with appointments so that I have time to walk around. Yeah. And I originally didn't. I think I was only actually on the schedule for like two hours worth of appointments uh, originally. But then things changed between everybody's scheduling and I ended up picking up almost between, I think, me and Boston, most of uh, the other appointments that were going on today. So we really only needed... Be- and then some of the appointments were running behind. So a couple of the free time slots we were supposed to have, we lost because of long appointments. Um, so I actually ended up having n- not even, I think, two hours of free time uh, that was not appointment-related. <laughs> it, it, it's Nintendo's fault. It started with Nintendo and just snowballed from there to being <laughs> five oh, minutes late to appointment, then ten minutes late to appointment, then twenty minutes late, twenty minutes late to appointment. It just it, it was kind of a messed up day, but we made it work overall. I'd well, say. And we did, and it was just it's. I mean, we we got to see a whole. I can't speak for you, all of you guys. I got to see a whole lot of games today. Yeah, not me. I did, but I was I mean, walking around recording a whole all the, day. Only like the last few hours, I got to see like Halo Four and got to play. Zombie you by the by the way that Boston you're right that game is really good and Austin, I told you guys that's nice yeah but I was yeah, like, I, like I, I was like really but I wanted to see it myself yeah, the, you know I guess so. it's because I'm not into survival horror that I'm like ah oh, really yeah. <laughs> I mean come on wait, <laughs> even dead. even <laughs> not finishing no, 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 even, even one of our uh, old one of our own community friends John Long. To attack Weasel is like, but you don't finish games. <laughs> we were yeah. talking today. Yeah, because I just left Dead Space 3 to meet up with her at the Medal of Honor Warfighter um, spot to go try that out one more time for, for the end of the day. And he actually, he asked me, he's like, because, you know, this is my first time, and he knew that, and he's like, so what'd you think? I was like, I liked it. 
He's like, he's like, yeah. I guess as a veteran of the industry, you just like lose that that, that yeah I know that excitement and that 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 oomph that go, that that cheese puff for you know E3. And he's like, because you go to E3 and it's all just titles with a number at the end because all they are are just sequels. sequels. It's very rarely that you get the new IP that's, you know, it's like the age of the sequel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Any new IPs that you guys saw this week or today? Actually, uh, the entire thing. Besides Zombie U? Uh, You know what mine's going to be. Which one? Star Wars thirteen. Oh my 13. god! Yeah, you know, you, dude, that video that that you showed us. Oh my god! Maria was the one that mentioned that to me. She was like, "Oh my god, Star Wars 13. You guys hyped that like, up so much, and I still was blown away, even with expectations. I it mean, looked ridiculous. We walked in. All right, we, so you walk into the booth, and there's like benches, you know, like, and it, you know, it, it's kind of like dark and dingy inside there. And I noticed on all the screens because they had like multiple screens like put up around the thing. It was designed, and even on the ceiling, it was designed to emulate like a shuttle barrier, like a shuttle cage, like elevator type thing yeah. or a lift going down this big long tube. You know, so slowly you see like, you know, like floors and floors of like a big space station. Just you're just going down, and then like you know c- components close and stuff like that, and they start off, and it's like okay, all right, this is pretty interesting. They start talking, and like all right, well here's the gameplay. And they start showing the gameplay. And hmm. the collective like thumps from floors hitting the ground and throughout that entire room, everybody was just like, <sighs> like you almost thought like people were losing oxygen because it was just how, like, how long was that that demo? Was it long? 20 minutes? 20 minutes? Yeah, about and 20 just minutes. 20, 10 minutes of it was just a few minutes a of Q, talking, Q&A. introduction. Um, it's all of the Lucas uh, the Lucas Arts, the, the four studios working together. So Industrial Light and Magic, Lucas Films. Lucas Arts, and there's one third one over. I think it was the games division. All of the divisions are working together to put this title together. Damn, uh, it's a third person, very very similar to Uncharted. Yes, it's gameplay. like that vibe, huh? Action adventure. Yeah, it's an action adventure. Like I said, very very similar to the Uncharted type style. Tomb Raider kind of. No more Uncharted. I, that's cool. probably the one game that matches it the most because okay. it's not it's not you know. You know, first person. Well, you know what? I saw him jumping And you have around. like the crouch, you have the crouching and you have like, you know, jumping from ledge to ledge on pieces or. That makes me think of Prince of Persia. No, because there's no parkour type style where you're like swinging 